So the first of these properties is called Boolean closure and this says that if E and F are Jordan measurable subsets of RD, Jordan measurable in RD, then the union E union F, the intersection and the set difference as well as the symmetric difference are all Jordan measurable. So, let me just prove one of them to illustrate uh, the use of our equivalent conditions in the previous theorem. So, I will only prove that E minus F is Jordan measurable. So, to show this, it suffices, it suffices to produce sets S and T, both elementary. So, S is elementary as well as T is elementary. So, again uh, given epsilon greater than 0, um, one can sandwich our set E minus F between two elementary sets S and T says that the measure of T minus S is less than or equal to epsilon. So, this was the second condition in our um, previous theorem which, which was an equivalent condition for Jordan measurability. So, I am going to use the that E and F are themselves Jordan measurable. So, since E, F are Jordan measurable. So, we have there exist elementary sets A1 and B1, A1, B1 elementary which sandwich E says that the measure of B1 minus A1 is less than or equal to epsilon by 2 and similarly for F there exists A2 and B2 elementary, elementary such that the measure of B2 minus A2 is less than or equal to epsilon over 2. Now, I am going to use that these sets B1, B2, A1, A2 to produce our T and S. Now, we have set inclusions. Our set E minus F is included in B1 minus A2 simply because E is a subset of B1 and A2 is a subset of F. Similarly, since A2 is a subset of E and F is a subset of B1, should be A1 minus B2. So, since uh, A1 is a subset of E and F is a subset of B2, we have the first inclusion. So, we will just take T to be B1 minus A2 and S to be A1 minus B2. So, let us see what is T minus S. So, this is B intersection A2 complement intersection with A1 intersection B2 complement and there is an another complement here. So, this set is S and you take T intersection S complement. So, we can write this as, so first one is B1, B1 intersection A2 complement intersection A1 complement union B2. So, just by using De Morgan's law and now we can distribute uh, this, uh, this set inside the union. So, we will get B1 intersection A2 complement intersection A1 complement union B1 union B2 
Now we can distribute this set B1 intersection A2 complement, the first one, inside the union to get B1 intersection A2 complement intersection A1 complement union B1 intersection A2 complement intersection B2. So see that the first one is B1 minus A1 union A2 and this is a union with B1 intersection B2 minus A2. Now, this is a subset of B1 minus A1 and the second one is a subset of B2 minus A2. Therefore, this implies by monotonicity that the measure of T minus S is less than or equal to the measure of B1 minus A1 union B2 minus A2 and by finite subadditivity this is less than or equal to B1 minus A1 plus measure of B2 minus A2 which is epsilon. So, this implies that the set difference E minus F is Jordan measurable. Now, we can state the definition for a Jordan measure which is that given a Jordan measurable subset E of R D, then we know that the inner Jordan measure is equal to the outer Jordan measure and so we call the common value as the Jordan measure of E and it is denoted by M of E. Now, the second part is just the extension of uh, the properties of the elementary measure we have seen already. Uh, so, for this we suppose that if E and F are Jordan measurable subsets of R D, then the first is non-negativity, we have already seen this for elementary measure, finite additivity, monotonicity, finite subadditivity and translation invariance. So, these are the properties we have already proved for elementary measure and we see that the Jordan measurable sets inherit these nice properties uh, from our elementary measure. So, these are quite easy to prove. So, let me just prove the second part which is finite additivity. So, for the proof of the second part. So, given our epsilon greater than 0, choose choose elementary sets elementary sets So, given epsilon greater than 0, there exists elementary sets, elementary sets A1 inside E and A2 inside F such that the inner Jordan measure is less than or equal to M A1 plus epsilon over 2 and the inner Jordan measure of F is less than or equal to M of A2 plus epsilon by 2. So, the inner Jordan measure of E union F, now note that, so now note that since A1 union A2 is inside the union A union F, E union F, so we get that the inner Jordan measure of E union F is greater than or equal to the measure of A1 union A2. But now we know that because E and F are disjoint, these two are disjoint. So, this is a disjoint union and therefore, this is equal to M A1 plus M 
a2 by finite subadditivity and therefore this is greater than or equal to by our two inequalities here this is greater than or equal to the inner jordan measure of e plus the inner jordan measure of f minus epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 so this is nothing but epsilon now note that e and f are jordan measurable so this is nothing but the jordan measure of e this is nothing but the jordan measure of f and we have already seen that if two uh, sets are jordan measurable their union is also jordan measurable so this is nothing but the jordan measure of e union f so we get that the jordan measure of e union f is greater than or equal to m e plus m f minus epsilon so this we did for the inner jordan measure similarly for the outer, outer jordan measure similarly the same argument for the outer jordan measure for the outer jordan measure this will give us that the measure of e union f is less than or equal to the measure of e plus the measure of f plus epsilon and from the inner jordan measure condition we get m e plus m f minus epsilon so since epsilon is arbitrary we have an equality so we see that the finite additivity condition holds for e and f jordan measurable and disjoint so we stop our lecture here and in the next class we will see what kind of specific examples of uh, jordan measurable subsets of rd we can produce and we will see that there are plenty of them